This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, playing with the World Chalice deck again with Machine Dupe in it, trying to make Cyber Dragon Infinity, because I've been enjoying this deck a lot more and more as I've been playing it. Uh, Jesus! I have Venus Exodius World Legacy World Chalice. Alright. Well, so we're just going to do the regular play uh, with uh, with Venus Exodius to draw three. Uh, if we get Ash Blossomed, we get Ash Blossomed. I don't really particularly care. Um, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to save this World Legacy World Chalice because with Exodius, it shuffles everything back, and that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Um, although we could bypass that. In fact, I might go a route to bypass it. Um, because let's see, I can make uh, I can make Imduk. I could drop this. Um, the biggest thing is that I want to go into like Proxy Dragon. I want to go to the Link Spider, Proxy Dragon, drop this. Um, yeah, okay. So that's, that's that's what we'll do. It may not be the correct route. Can't quite remember exactly what I need to be doing for this three card combo because it's been a long time since I've actually performed it. But I think that I'm on the right track um, for how this needs to go because Proxy Dragon down here, then Exodius to shuffle them all back, and then I get to do the World Legacy World Chalice play, um, and that will uh, that will allow me to even without Machine Dupe uh, will allow me to search another World Legacy World Chalice off of the Lee. And then I will be able to drop Cyber Dragon Infinity as well as potentially extra link my opponent, depending on uh, some varying factors. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to once my opponent is is done literally stalling, um, stalling my ass with uh, his waiting time. Uh, there we go. Uh, I'll special summon this in this zone because I want to preserve my World Legacy World Chalice. For as long as I can. Uh, so what I will do is I'll summon that there. I'll activate Venus. Summon my uh, my dude over here. I can, since I've got three Shine Balls, what I can do is I can uh, make my I can make my Ningirsu play into a draw three through some other factors. Let's see. I need to get rid of this, which means I'm going to be tributing it for the uh, for the World Legacy World Chalice. Um, which then means I have some space issues. We'll we'll find out how this goes. I'm just kind of free balling this one. Uh, if I'm if I'm being honest with you, um, so I can make uh, I can make I can make Ebe with these two that are and they'll go up there, and then this will summon two from deck. Yeah. Okay. So that that's how this goes. That's how this will happen. Um, is I can summon Orum actually, and that will vacate this zone as well. So yes, we will do that. Uh, it sucks if I get Ash Blossomed, but at this point I've already got so many extra cards that I would kind of rather get Ash Blossomed here, because if I did, then that would mean that uh, if I did get Ash Blossomed at this point, that would uh, that would make it to where um, uh, what's my thought process that I'm trying to go down here? Uh, if I did get Ash Blossomed here. It would uh, it would have made it to where um, I could still just resolve in gear suit no problems. But so what I'll do now is that I will go into Ebe with Exodius and Lee, and then I have um, the Venus that I can start getting stuff out of my deck with. I'm gonna have to make uh, another Imduk because I fucked up and put the Beckend over here and the Lee over here. So that's gonna be a problem. But actually no, I can uh, I can add the Lee back to my hand and do that. Uh, do that classic old play. So we will do that. Uh, because then that also masks my uh, Ninjirsu from uh, from Ash Blossom, since we haven't seen it yet. Uh, and we want to be very, very cautious around that card. <laughs> That's what we want to be doing. That's the third Shine Ball, so that will go into Imduk. And then I will go with Imduk and Proxy Dragon into the Ninjirsu, structuring my Chain Links accordingly. Um, well, actually, I didn't even need to do the Imduk. Um, well, I didn't need to add the Lee back, because I have, uh, 
I have uh, the, the thing in hand, but what I want to really do here is I actually want to bring back the uh, the World Legacy World Chalice in my grave with Orem if I don't draw into Machine Dupe, which I haven't. I've drawn to another World Legacy World Chalice. That's actually pretty good as well. Um, but I can uh, I can get rid of these. I can get rid of those two into a firewall. Um, so I will. I'll get rid of this and this into a firewall dragon, which has one pointing at it. Um, I can use my Ningirsu special to special one of the World Legacy World Chalices out of my hand over here. And then I will activate this. I can activate this to bring back the Ningirsu. Uh, and then I can link with these into uh, into my shit. And then this firewall will use its effect. Yes, all right. So I'm gonna extra link here and then Cyber Dragon Infinity is what I'm gonna do. But so this will come back here. I can go ahead and then act. I can go ahead and make my uh, my Gaia Saber here with these two so those two will go and so I can activate my Orum's ability as chain link one and then I'll activate my firewalls ability as chain link two I will not activate world legacy world chalice's effects um, and so what I'll do is I'll be able to go Orum and firewall and then I will chain the firewalls effect to add back, um, to add back some vanillas, um, as well as putting the link spider back in my extract. So the link spider is most important. I need a vanilla back in my hands, and I can add back something like Venus because I do have the Exodius, which means that's a guaranteed combo next turn if my board gets broken. Um, but so what I need to summon out of my hand now is just any monster that I want to link away with uh, into this next firewall dragon, which will be this uh, this Venus. So I'll summon this Venus here, and so what this will allow me to do is this will allow me to go into Firewall with Ningirsu and Venus over here, uh, and so this uh, this Ningirsu can special, but at the same time I don't want it to, so no. But I will activate the Firewall Dragon's effect as special, I will not activate World Legacy World Chalice's effect as special. No additional Firewall effect, I'm going to special the Mystical Shine Ball over here. And I'm going to link away into Link Spider with it, and then uh, and then that firewall will summon the other World Legacy World Chalice out of my hands. It's a little bit more involved than uh, than doing the Kaiju shenanigans, but at the same time, I think it's I think it's well worth. Uh, but so now I've got Gofu Venus Exodius in my hand to be used uh, in following turns should my board get broken. Uh, the thing about Exodius is it puts back my Infinity and Nova if that go away as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, but so we'll do this. This will go here. This Firewall Dragon is loaded for two. And I can set this and not really worry about what I discard. Because if I discard um, like the Gofu or whatever, I can use the Firewall Dragon to add it back. So I don't really care about the Gofu going away either because just Venus... Exodius by itself is a Ningirsu, um, Ningirsu draw 3 combo, so not too worried about that, because I could do that again next turn, like it's actually just super valuable for me. I, I love the situation that I'm in. I love the fact that Cyber Dragon Infinity is just chilling on my board. Like it's so much, it's a little bit harder to achieve than summoning Gamma Seal, and it doesn't negate as many cards as Gamma Seal does, but you get to run better quality cards in your main deck because one, it takes up, the, the Kaiju engine at its minimum takes up five cards. You're playing two Kaijus, one Gamma Seal and one other Kaiju, and then you're playing three of the field spell. That's the smallest Kaiju engine you're going to be playing to reasonably see it. Um, whereas with this engine, you just play the machine duplications. You don't have to fuck with Kaijus. Um, and the machine dupes are combo cards in themselves. What is that? Is that a Crystron? It is a Crystron! Hey! Okay, so what does the card do? Um, so summon some of this card, and then destroy one card you control. If this card on the field destroy a battler card effect, you can special summon a crystal monster from your deck in defense position. I don't think any of this outs my extra link, so I'm just going to let it happen. Uh, what, does this thing do anything in the grave? Um, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard. Uh, negate the effect. Okay. Easy. Um, uh, but so Machine Dupe, um, is actually really cool because it is a combo piece. 
Um, if you open a hand that's like a vanilla plus World Legacy World Chalice plus Machine Duke, that's combo. Because you go vanilla, link the vanilla into Imduk, tribute the Imduk for World Legacy World Chalice, so you have a tribute summoned World Legacy World Chalice on the field, and then you Machine Duke the other two out of the deck, and now you have more World Chalice names. So you go with the tribute summoned uh, World Legacy World Chalice and one of the other ones into an Orum, and then you just pray that Ash Blossom doesn't exist. Um, um, but so this lets him, uh, especially my Crystron Tuner from deck. Okay, cool. I don't know how you out the extra link with the Crystrons. I've read all of these cards at least once back in November of 2016 when I was opening boxes of Innovation of uh, Invasion Vengeance. Um, so I don't quite remember these cards having a way to out an extra link. And that's what the Infinity is here for. The Infinity is here for whatever card would break the extra link. That's all it's there for. Um, no, I don't want to chain. This is a uh, targeted non-tuner in a graveyard special summon it during my main phase or battle phase. Um, so this is this is already just a bad time for my opponent because he's playing a deck that's inherently slower than mine. But also, uh, it's just going to be it's going to be a problem. Now I'm playing matches. Uh, whether or not people leave is uncontrollable by myself, but uh, but I'm going to just I'm in, I'm in a mood to film a lot of videos in a you know in a short window, which is why my shirt hasn't changed in the past two to three days for the videos you've been watching because I filmed them all at once. Um, I filmed them all, took break, filmed them, took break, filmed them, took break, um, and uh, and so like basically it's uh, it's just pretty it's pretty effective. I've been getting a lot of good recording done uh, but at the same time it means that I'm much less likely to not use recordings so if my opponent just left right now I would still use this recording because I've done the play that I wanted to show that you could do even without machine dupe you can just make cyber dragon infinity really easily um, and you do it by using a firewall dragon bounce for three which is really good as well. Like, you've used this Firewall Dragon, yes, but it bounced three cards. It put two cards back in my hand. It put a Venus back, it put back a Link Spider, and then it put back a, a Vanilla that I used to establish the Link Spider again. Uh, but so this extra deck is kind of tight, unfortunately. Um, I really wish that I could play a second Link Spider, and there might be, you know, merit in cutting the third Imduk for it, but Imduk comes up a lot more in multiples, especially in the combos that don't involve Exodius. So... It just matters. It just matters all in all. But so I don't know what he's going to be doing. He can use this Scrap Recycler to shuffle back two and draw a card, right? Yeah, he can shuffle back two Earth Machines. So in phase, he's set two and he's passing. I'm just going to Twin Twister in the in phase. Um, we'll just Twin Twister these two cards. And so these are both cards that would like have graveyard effects, but at this, at this point they don't. So that's fine. Um. I could go ahead and summon Exodius, uh, but I don't think it's necessary. I think I could just literally kill my opponent. Is this enough damage for game? Um, I'm going to normal summon this Venus, uh, just in case it isn't enough damage for game. Um, because that's like my biggest normal summon, unless I wanted to waste Firewall to bounce cards. Uh, but so, we'll just, we'll just attack with this. This seems fine, right? Um, so I'll attack the Citri with this. He can't synchro into anything because I'm taking up both extra monster zones. Uh, any effect that he activates, I'm going to... Okay, so my opponent has surrendered. Good. Alright, surrendered but not disconnected. Very good. Okay, so these are all machines, right? I don't remember. I should have looked a lot more closely. Um, I know the synchros are machines, so system down will kind of work there. Um, I'll take out one of these vanillas, I'll take out a Gofu, I'll take out a Transmodify, um, put in another Twin Twister, take out a Machine Dupe. I just want to take out, like, cards that I don't want clumping in multiples. I kind of want Triple Exodius, um, because, like, it's, you know, a combo extender, but I think, like, Gofu is just better, like, playing into back row. So we'll go with that. I could put Zaphions in here. There's a few different things I could do. Um, I think I'm okay with this though. Going second, I think I'm okay with that. So we'll we'll see how this plays out. 
Um, I don't think the Zaphion is necessarily needed, especially since the only traps that I saw were the Crystron ones. In which case, ugh. Um, ooh, this max is gonna be spice. Um, I've got a Gofu, I've got a normal, I've got a Twin Twister. This is actually really good as far as a hand goes. Um, this max C could be very, very good. I don't know when the optimal time to activate max C against this matchup is, actually. Um, it's probably when the dude summons himself, the discard dude, the level 5 dude, uh, Seraphifener or whatever the, whatever the hell his name was. Um, that's probably the best time. Oh, he's summoning a Machina Fortress. Well, Alright. I have to deal with that card. I do have to deal with that one. Um, Foolish Burial. Alright, so he's probably going to send the level 5 dude. Which is fine. Which means that he'll discard a card. And special summon it. Um, which I will then chain Max C to. Which is, you know, unfair cards at one. Let's do that. Max C should be at zero or three. There's no reason for this card to be at one. It's such an unfair piece of shit. I have it, my opponent doesn't, so I get rewarded. And I'm already playing a deck that's already a hard matchup for him. So now, it's just even worse. Um, so, Twin Twister. Okay, so he didn't pop this, so he didn't give me any more Max C draws. But that's fine, because this is this is, this is is fine. You, you've played yourself. <laughs> You're at two cards. Um, what does that trap do? Uh, if this card, during either player's turn, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, targets a Crystron monster, you can banish this card and negate that effect. Well, sucks to suck for you, my dude, but time to get Twin Twisted. And is this another one? Yeah, this is another one of those. Alright. And now I get to special this, the Gofu, and I get to... Use its effect special, yes. Yas, please. Uh, I've got a guard dragon and a shine ball, which is something that I can utilize. Um, I'm not going to go for any like crazy extensive plays. I will just, uh, I will just do some standard, uh, well, what I can, what I would consider standard uh, nonsense to put link monsters on the field. Uh, but so I'll summon this. I will go into. Um, I can go into Proxy Dragon with these two, uh, but this is here, so I need to mind that. I need to mind the gap. Um, I can go into Proxy Dragon. Uh, I can then go into um, an Imduk. I can go into. I can bring this back. I can do things. I can do things. I can do things. I can do things. Uh, I might as well just go ahead and summon this Eeb um, here. And then I can normal summon the World Chalice uh, Protector Dragon, the Guard Dragon, and I can uh, I can then go into I can go into Firewall with these with these specifically, um, which might be what I want to do because so I can just kill his stuff, but at the same time don't really want to. Ha! Huh. I can kill this. I just need to do enough damage for game, right? That's all that has to happen. Um, I can just keep linking up into monsters then, if that's the case. I can make another Eeb with these two. I can make Orum with these. Um, yeah. So we'll make Eeb here with these two. I'll make Orum happen. That way I can... So I want to banish for my Guard Dragon before I, uh, before I drop the, um, the Exodius. So I want that resource back on the field. So we'll, we'll do that. So we'll activate this. I'll bring back the vanilla. I'll bring it back over here. And now I have a suitable space to, um, to do some shit. I can link this into... I can make this into Imduk. Um, and then I can swap it around uh, for the Eeb. So I'll activate this. This comes back as Eeb. So that upped my resource pool there. And now I get to special summon this. Which I can do here. And then I can make uh, I can make proxy dragon Ningirsu. Or I can just make Ningirsu with these two. I think I, I think I've messed up at some point. Uh, but it's alright. Because I can uh, I can make Firewall Dragon with these two. And that would be alright. Um 
I mean, Gearsu has such strict summoning conditions. That's that's the problem. Is that Nagirsu has such a strict summoning condition? I should have just summoned Nagirsu like here. Hmm, maybe. I don't know. I'm playing with weird cards anyway, so it might as well, right? Uh, so I can firewall and I could try to bounce this, but there's no point in bouncing it. I could just kill it. We'll just kill it. That that seems like the best move. <laughs> so we'll just we'll just kill it. Um, we'll attack it. Not with this, but yeah, we'll attack it with that. And I'll attack with the Exodius, that'll put another thousand damage on board. Um, oh, this gets its effect, right? Yeah, it does. So you get a special summon a monster, a Crystron monster, in defense position. Oh no, I could actually lose this game. I forgot that this does that. Mainly because I haven't read this card in almost a year. Um, so this will summon, this can summon one of his tuners out of his deck, and then his. There's one tuner that brings back the ones from Grave. Uh, the question is, what is the level 6 that gets summoned? Or the level 7. Um, so there's that. I'm going to attack with the Exodius, because the Exodius will then pump itself. So that seems fine. Uh, now this thing's effect is going to bring back Scrap Recycler and Synchro into a 5. Alright. But what five do you make? Um, so this should allow me to send with Exodius again, unless there's no replay for whatever reason. Um, I don't imagine why there wouldn't be a replay. <sighs> so scrap the recycler gets banished. Christron doodad man. What is this thing's effect? Change all faces, special one monsters you control to defense position. Well, these can't be in defense position, so that doesn't work really for you. Um, so I get to kill this. Um, I get to kill this, it will trigger bringing back a Crystron. So it will bring back his level 5, which I can then kill again. Um, does it have to bring it back? Oh, it has... Ah, it brings it back in attack position. Well, actually, this is fine. I'd rather that be there. Because he could have drawn a Crystron monster and, uh, and had, you know, a good, you know, thing to work with there, but instead, I'd, I'd rather this be the case, in fact. Thinking about it from this perspective, I would rather this be the case. Um, so what I can do is I can make Firewall just to pretend, just to protect myself from nonsense, but no, he's got Impact. There's really no reason for me to put any of my cards into anything other than Ningirsu, because Ningirsu doesn't target, but at this point, like, he's got to draw, he's got to draw a good card to use. Um... Well, the thing is, he can attack this into my Aurum and suicide, and then this would trigger summoning a monster from deck. So, like, that's a good play. Uh, but it's, I don't know how, like, that I, uh, I don't know what he necessarily does. All right, so he drew a monster. Okay, good. Let's see. Target one face-up monster, you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn. Like said, machine, synchro monsters, destroy it. Card, if you do special summon the Christian tuner from your deck. So he can target this, destroy it, um, and summon a monster from deck off of this effect, and then a monster off, out of deck off of this effect. Alright. <laughs> um, okay. I'm, I'm just, I'm waiting to lose to this, so I can go to game three and go first and just extra link in Cyber Dragon Infinity again, because... My hand needed, like, a Venus to be really good, uh, but instead it had a Gofu, and that's kind of the problem. Um, so he's targeting this, alright, fair. I've been recording this for 20 plus minutes. This needs to stop. Um, I need to start playing faster. That's what needs to happen. Uh, I might just stop doing matches because, like, recording singles seems like it's a little bit more varied, uh, as well as it makes videos shorter, makes it easier for me to record more of them. I don't know. Would you guys rather have two singles a day or one match a day? <laughs> That's the question. Because, like, if I'm recording singles, then I might just record two videos and put two videos up of separate matchups. But at the same time, I do kind of like matches because... I've bricked on camera before many times, and having game two and three for that to be fixed is nice. I'm so hungry. I'm fasting right now. 
I'm I'm doing intermittent fasting for my uh, for my health and for my wallet. But I'm so hungry. Oh, it's so 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 bad. I've just been drinking shit tons of water. Is this? Oh yeah, this is a green bottle. So this is gonna show through. I don't even fucking care anymore. What does Smiger do? Destroys itself. Um, and especially summons a Christian tuner from your deck. All right. So okay. So now he's got Citri on the board. He's summoning another tuner from his deck. So uh, Rion. This is the level three. Uh, target one of your banished non-tuners and special summon it. Okay. All right. Um. Attack, please. I don't know what's going on! Uh, he's got Christron shit in his grave. You know what? I'm just not even going to let him play this one out because he's taking so long. I'm just going to go first next game and I'm just going to win. That's how this is going to work. Put in Machine Dupe. Put in Exodius. Uh, take out the System Downs. Take out the Twin Twisters completely. I'll leave one in. No, I won't even leave one in. Um, Dimensional Barriers, Imperial Order, um, Transmodify, we'll go with this. I get to go first, I don't give a shit. I can just play out my, like, six minute turn, and we'll be good to go. Alright, so, what I've got is I've got some good shit. So I'll special summon this, I'll use my effect to get tokens, the only thing I'd be worried about is Max C at this point, but it doesn't look like he has it, which is good for me. Um, so I can link with this into Link Spider. I've got the Machine Duke place. So that's fantastic as well. Like, wow. Um, I've got a vanilla that I can just throw into the Link Spider and to make Imduk to give me an additional normal summon, which is not really something that I need, but I'd rather preserve it. Um, I'd rather preserve my regular normal summon, so that if I do Ningirsu and draw Venus, then I just have tons of play that I have capability into going into. Uh, but so I will normal summon this here. I'm going to, uh, link, I can link these into a thing, I can get a thing and just keep the machine dupe for later, which is probably what's going to be happening. Uh, because I've got enough cards to do so, so yes. Uh, we will just go ahead and link into Aurum, uh, see if the Ash Blossom is there. If it's not, then Rip and Pep, my man. He doesn't have it. Oh shit. So what we'll do is we'll get uh, Lee uh, here, and then we'll get Guard Dragon here, and then Lee's effect will special. Um, a uh, World Legacy World Chalice to my hand, which means now Exodius can shuffle back as many cards as I want. I don't care. Um, and then I can make Eeb with these two right here. I can make Proxy Dragon, which I will do with this and this. And then I can use my Guard Dragon's Grave Effect to get that normal back. I'll get it back here, I'll make Imduk with it, and then I will, uh, then I'll uh, do my Ningirsu play, and then I'll drop Exodius. So, this works very well for me, uh, all in all. Uh, right there, so I will go into, yes, Ningirsu with you and you, into this zone, Ningirsu will be Chainlink 1, Imduk will be Chainlink 2, I'll summon my World Legacy World Chalice in the zone next to Ningirsu, draw three there's a venus that's really good oh my lord um jesus oh sweet jesus um so what i get access into now is that i can machine dupe those two out um i can do that i can do this i can summon venus i could go ahead and summon venus and if i do then that'd be good i can go ahead and world i can machine dupe the two world legacy world chalices out make a um make a Cyber Dragon Affinity there. Alright, my opponent has just left the game. My opponent has DC'd. So, the extent of my play here is that I can go Machine Dupe on this, summon the other two out of my deck, overlay with the one that's here and this into Cyber Dragon Infinity. Um, I can Normal Summon Venus over here, 
Um, I can uh, link these two, uh, the Nagirsu and the World Legacy World Chalice left over into Firewall Dragon. Then I can start paying with Venus and I can summon Exodius. And then it's just, it's way too far in my favor. It's way too far gone at that point because by that point I've got uh, Gaia Saber here. I've got an extra link and I've got a Cyber Dragon Infinity backed up by Max C. So we'll go with that. I didn't think I was going to win. I didn't think I was going to lose that second game um, when it started, but hell. I mean, I just needed better resources for that hand to play out because I had everything I needed except for a proper, like, really good resource. Like, World Legacy, World Chalice, Lee, or um, or Venus would have been great there, but I just didn't have any of them, so that sucks. But anyway, it's whatever. So, let me know what your guys' opinions are in the comments down below. Do you like match videos with one matchup that goes up one a day, or would you rather me do singles and do, like, two or three singles a day and have them as separate videos? Uh, because, like, singles are probably easier to record, but matches are a bit better for how they play out. I don't know. I just, I, I feel like people don't like these long-ass videos. This video is literally 30 minutes long at this point, and I don't know if people like that. So, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, as always. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and give me your feedback in the comments down below, as I've already said. Drop a like if you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel videos and more World Chalice videos. Subscribe if you're new here and want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And links as always are in the description to my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you like the content I've been producing and want to see more of it, want to help improve the quality of it, and so on and so forth, then Patreon is the best way to do so. As well as it gets you access into rewards that include access into monthly giveaways for you know sizable amounts of Yu-Gi-Oh! product like boxes and shit. Or access into my private Discord server with me and a bunch of other people where we discuss Yu-Gi-Oh! and various other fandoms on a daily basis. So, so if you're interested in any of that, then definitely go check out the Patreon link in the description. But special thanks as always to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, and Troy Perkins. As well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You have out a ton, and you as always have my eternal gratitude. But as I've already said, thanks for watching. Again, let me know what your thoughts are on singles videos versus match videos in the comments down below. I'd love to know your feedback. Thanks for your time, and as usual, guys... Take care. I'll see you in the next video.